that dirty chai. <sighs> Things happen. Welcome back. My name is Emmy. I am a professional hairstylist, a coffee lover, and a makeup enthusiast. And today I'm going to do a wearable, colorful look. Starting out with my EXA foundation. a little later in the day so I'm sorry if you see the, the light. I kind of like the light. You know, it's like angel kiss. There's the foundation. Lovely light little layer for the color portion of the look. I have my Warrior 2 by Juvia's Place. And we have like colorful but still, you know, tonal. So I'm thinking this is happening. I'm thinking this whole middle row. This whole middle row is gonna happen a little bit. And then I wanna play, I wanna challenge myself a little bit and play with my JD Glow multi crown. This is in the shade seaweed. It's this green. So I think the green and like the orange kind of pink. So maybe we'll leave out the red, but the orange and the pink could be really interesting complementary. Okay, with a clean small blending brush, I'm going to take this kind of cool taupe shade into my crease to build a little bit of depth before I dive soft, soft shadow in this crease. When I'm wearing color and I want to make it wearable, I keep it close to my lash line. So we're really going to be playing on the lower part of the lid and the lash line, maybe the lower lash line as well. And because my personal style is quite simple, I don't like too much going on all at the same time. I like to wear very neutral colors and simple silhouettes with bold looks. So if I was wearing a not neutral color, tr a traditional neutral color, uh, if I was wearing like a green top or an orange top or a pink top, I probably would uh, change, which is what I did. I was wearing a green top earlier and I changed to, to do this look. So just a little bit, a little bit of shadow and depth. It's not a completely bare eye. I'm doing the pink first. Do I want the pink on the outer or the inner? Inner. So I'm loading up this pencil brush with the color, placing it as close to my lash line as I can, which is still giving, you know, a decent range of pigment. Wiggling it into the inner corner. Same on this eye, and then I'm gonna blend it out. I'm gonna soften like the edge of it. I don't wanna completely diffuse it. I still want that color, but I'm going to soften the line of it. So I'm softening the line with the same brush I used with the taupe, and this is going to be my like clean blending brush. And again, I'm not blending out the whole thing, just that like top edge of it to soften it. Now I'm going to take that brush and just kind of wipe off some of the pink and then go in with orange. Same brush. And now we're doing the same deal but on the outer part of the eye. Mm. 
Yeah, these colors are just similar enough. Also just different enough to build some, some depth in the outer corner. Again, I'm blending the edge of that pigment just to soften it. day this makeup is like therapeutic for my soul at the moment it's really having a good time just like taking a deep deep soul breath while I do this you know uh, let's go back to the pink for the lower uh, lower lash line and it's gonna be kind of a mix because I'm using the same brush which is fine Now for the green, the green duochrome shift. I absolutely love this shade here. This is an actual like painting artist pencil that I got from Michaels. It's really thin. So I'm taking this duochrome pigment on this very thin brush and you could add like a liquid to it to kind of make it more like a liner. Again, I'm kind of wanting a softer feel, so I'm taking this to the inner corner on the lower lash line. So I'm leaving the pigment really built up on the inner corner and kind of diffusing it as I blend it out to the outer corner. That is cool. I like that a lot. Okay, so that is all the color we're gonna do. I'm gonna take a little bit of liner to the outside corner on the upper to kind of balance out the situation. And I'm gonna just take a brown. I'm gonna curl my lashes and put on mascara. Mm, 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 mm. The caffeine is hitting. It's slowly hitting my bloodstream. <sighs> Mascara completes everything, like I swear. Let's add some brown. With this kind of look, I like to keep the cheeks kind of simple and nude, but still warm. So bronzer, this is the Nude Sticks Bondi Bay. I might skip blush, we're gonna see. And because I have that intention of possibly skipping blush, I'm applying the bronzer in a much broader way and less specific. almost applying the bronzer like a bro like a blush, which you can do. Yeah. I might do a tiny bit of pink just on the apple. We'll see. We do need a little bit of pink so I'm taking this Undone Beauty Lip and Cheek Palette in the shade Flare. It's a cool toned pink so it's gonna kind of go with that inner corner. These are really cool. It comes in, it, it, you can kind of see there's like three different formulas. It's sheer, medium, and full pigment. I'm gonna go with sheer because I just want like a suggestion of the pink. And these are cream products. They're really wonderful. I've got three different shades. A 
lips as well as cheeks, we're gonna keep it pretty simple. I've got two lip colors here. One's a little warmer, one's a little cooler. I think we're going with the cooler color. This is the Aveda Color Balm in the shade Camellia Rose. The color balms are really pigmented. It's like a liquid lipstick that doesn't set down. So you only need a little. Oh my God, this applicator tickles my lips like no other applicator. I don't, oh my gosh. Ah! Mm, so what is it about you, Aveda? Their old applicators didn't tickle me, just their new ones. Yeah, that's perfect. I'm losing light here, people. I don't mean it, as you can see. Here's today's bold, wearable look. I'm in love with this. I might wear this a lot. Thank you so much for watching. If you feel like subscribing, go for it. If you don't, fine. You do you, boo. Uh, I will see you next time. Thank you.